everyone, Mr. Gray 3IS here, and in today's video, I'm going to wash my car. Uh, I'm going to kind of show you everything that I use to wash my car, all the products, what I prefer, how I do it. Um, and this car definitely needs a wash. I usually wash it weekly. It might seem excessive, but this time it hasn't been washed in about a month. Uh, and it might look okay now, especially since it's a little cloudy out. Oh, by the way, it's the perfect weather right now. Low 80s, cloudy. I can't wait to wash it. I'm so used to washing it in the hot sun, uh, but today is a good morning to wash it. Uh, but as you can see, it got dude on a little bit last night, but it is fairly dusty I mean it's got my rock collectors are full right now <laughs> um, and the exhaust tips are a little dirty I, I want to shine these up um, as you can see they're pretty gross but I always don't think the car looks too dirty when I wash it but as soon as I'm done washing I'm like oh wow okay it was dirty <laughs> so um, I'm gonna pull her back and get to the prep for washing it Alright, to start off, the soap that I mainly use is this PNS uh, Double Black Pearl Auto Shampoo. Um, it's very nice. Uh, this is a concentrate, so you don't have to use as much as you would normal soap, but I still do just because I like all the suds. Um, and yeah, this is great. It is safe for ceramic coating, um, so I do use this on my wheels and paint. Uh, you can definitely use PNS Brake Buster on your wheels. That's a great choice. And you can even use that on ceramic coated wheels. Um, but it is best for freshly ceramic coated wheels because uh, it does degrade the ceramic coating a tiny bit. But mine are a, about a year and a half in, so I don't really want to degrade any more of my ceramic coating than I need. Uh, so I just use this auto shampoo, which is pH balanced and is safe for ceramic coating. So the first thing I do is fill up my foam cannon. Uh, this is a Chemical Guys foam cannon. It's just branded as Chemical Guys. It's really a, where does it say it? Torx foam cannon. Um, yeah, as you can see there, it's very nice. I like it a lot. Uh, it has the foam adjustment and the spray pattern adjustment right there. Um, I've been using it for a while and it is amazing. So I pour some of this in the solo cup so it's kind of easier to pour in because this one drips down a little bit. So it kind of looks like some really artificial orange juice. Uh, and what I'm going to do is a 2 to 10 ratio. So I'm going to fill it up to the 200 milliliter mark and then fill the rest of the hot water up to the 1000. All right, and then from here I'm going to fill my wheel bucket up uh, with the shampoo and hot water. Um, it is a very good idea to have a dedicated wheel bucket. Look at all the stained brake dust that's in here. Like that's not coming out. So it's a good idea not to get that mixed with uh, the one you're going to use to wash your paint. So pour some of this one in there and some hot water. And once she's all filled up, I'm going to throw in my wheel cleaning brushes. Got my wheelbarrow brush. Got my soft horsehair face brush, my tire brush, and my horsehair smaller detail brush. All right, and then next up is my bucket to clean my paint, like my actual car. So we're gonna put the same soap in it, fill it up with warm water. And right about now is when I throw my grit guard in. Um, if you don't know what this is, all the little dirt and rocks and things that come off your wash mitt will go down these tiny holes uh, where this is perched up at the bottom and they will all just chill at the bottom so they don't get mixed in with your fresh water. All right, it is now full and the two things I use in this bucket are my wash mitt, which this is a Norwex uh, 
microfiber wash mitt has a smooth side and a um, typical wash mitt side. This is a very nice wash mitt uh, and I definitely recommend it. Um, and the only other thing I put in there is uh, actually a makeup brush. I don't know makeup so I don't know what type of brush this is. It's just a cheap one but super soft um, and I use this to get in between my emblems and uh, on my trim so I don't scratch them with the uh, little bit thicker horsehair brushes that I use uh, for the wheels. All right, now I'm just gonna take this all outside. All right, I got everything lined up out here. Got my pressure washer set up. Uh, my pressure washer is the Sunjo SPX 3000. It is an electric pressure washer. Um, I've come to find that a lot of people in the car community use Sunjo pressure washers. I didn't know that, um, but it's a great one. Um, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, it does have a long wand. You can get a short one, but I just still have the long one. Uh, it has a bunch of attachments right here, all the different tips. I just use this right here, this 40 degree one, as you can see, it's my most used one. Um, and yeah, it's great. It makes good power, good gallons per minute. Um, and I totally recommend it. Oh yeah, and by the way, for all the things I'm using here, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so you can definitely find everything there. As I got my wand shooting some water out to get the air out of this whole hose line, um, one of the first things I do is I actually prop up my washer blades. Uh, just so when I'm washing and water's coming down, it doesn't get all stuck there. It can actually go down here. Um, and yeah, other than that, I kind of, you know, just leave everything the same. Um, so that little silly goofy trick is the first thing I do before I wash. All right, now that everything's going, um, <laughs> the first thing I start on are my wheels. And I'll show you how I do this first wheel and then just do the same to all the rest. So first I'm just going to spray it off with water and then I'll get to it with my tire brush. Make sure you get into your wheel wells uh, the best you can. For me, it's a little more difficult now that I'm very low, um, but it's still doable. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wheel bucket. First thing I do is use this wheel barrel brush and we'll get into the wheel barrels uh, this one hits my rotors because they're a little big uh, for this brush but you can still get into this first like three inches of the wheel barrel so that works totally fine see how much see all that all that disgusting soap yep thankfully uh these come clean pretty quick look you can see how clean they became uh just from spraying it because they're ceramic coated um so that's a uh, good thing to do to your wheels if you want them to clean very easily. And for these spots around the calipers that are kind of hard to get a uh, wheel barrel brush into, um, I use my uh, handheld detail brush to get into them. Uh, it's way easier. And then while I have this brush in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and go around the outside of the wheel, around this little lip right here. and then also clean the lug nuts and clean my caliper back here. All right, then next up, I'm gonna use my tire brush and get these tires very carefully. Um, up top is a little harder to do since it's very close to the fender, um, but you know, just do your best. And obviously these struggles might not occur for everyone uh, since not everyone's car is gonna be uh, as low as mine. So I'm still including them um, so you could use the same process on yours. Once those tires are all nice and soapy, I'm gonna go ahead and use my wheel face brush and go ahead and get at these wheel faces. And <laughs> just like that, they are all soapy, all nice. And we can go ahead and rinse this wheel off. Boom, just like that. They're nice and shiny clean.
looking good nice so just do that same process to the rest of the three of your wheels and move on to the paint and once all your wheels are nice and shiny uh, we're gonna go ahead and foam the car down uh, to remove all the loose dirt and small debris that might be on the car so when we wash it um, it doesn't rub into the paint so foam it and then go ahead and spray the foam off All right, and then from here, I'm going to use, let's see, it's a mystery game. Oh, here it is. Uh, this makeup brush that I have to go ahead and clean like my emblems and my backup camera and uh, the fog lights and my daytime running lights, all those little parts that uh, the wash mitt isn't gonna get into nicely. And then after that is when we're gonna get to soaping down the car. And once they're all soaked up and cleaned with that brush, uh, I'm gonna get to using the wash mitt. So I take the wash mitt and I start top to bottom. So I do the trunk, roof, windshield, hood, and then I do the windows, the doors and bumpers, and then last I do my ground effects pretty much. So my front lip, side skirts, rear diffuser, rear spats, um, and anything down low, cause I don't wanna transfer that up to the top because down low is where it's the dirtiest because that's the closest to the road um, so that is my method of cleaning and i like to go left to right and up and down and that's pretty much what I do. Um, no pun intended, just rinse and repeat this process over the whole car. And I think it'll be looking good afterwards. And don't forget after each panel, rinse your microfiber wash mitt off. So shake it around in there, get your thumb and re relieve all the dirt from in those little microfiber fingers. And that should help uh, get any dirt off of here and down into the grit guard if you have any in here and so that you don't risk swirling or scratching your paint and another little tip uh, if it is hot outside and you're washing your car during the summer and your paint is hot uh, after each panel rinse the soap off before you move on to the next one so it doesn't dry onto your paint but as you can see it is not too hot out it's kind of cloudy uh, so I can get away with uh, not rinsing the panel off each time and kind of waiting to the end or rinsing halfway and then finishing the other half of the car. Uh, but that's just a little tip so you don't get dried soap onto your paint. Ooh, all right, <laughs> everything is soaped. Um, most of the soap has dripped down to the ground already. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. All right, now that she's all rinsed down, we're gonna dry her off with my favorite drying towel. All right, this right here is the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth super plush super soft and it is amazing this one towel can dry the whole car like watch watch this Ta-da! <laughs> just like that and especially with microfibers is cool because these little streaks once they dry up a little bit they just completely disappear and you just do that there look let me throw this just throw it onto here spread it out a little bit pull it dude it's insane and it holds so much like it's still completely dry and you can do a whole car just with this one towel i totally recommend them i have two of these um they're awesome uh, and yeah you just dry the whole car like this i have smaller uh separate microfiber towels for my wheels 
and then also some for my door jams. All right, as you can tell, she's all dried up. Um, and next after, like I said before, after I dry the body of the car, um, I usually do the wheels next. Uh, and I use one of these chemical guys, like plush blue microfiber towels. Um, but one thing I do uh, to the wheels to make them dry a little quicker, since there's so many little spots on them, and especially in and around these lug nuts, they like to leak a lot of water. Um, I use a leaf blower. Um, use an electric leaf blower if you're gonna use any leaf blower because gas ones will sometimes shoot little particles and you don't want to chip or scratch your paint or anything so okay yeah this one's pretty torquey um i definitely recommend it. i took off the tube so it's just kind of like a stubby one so i can get really close like this and yeah i just Well, you get the gist. It, it helps with drying the wheels off a lot. And if you have a blower or a leaf blower of any kind, another helpful trick for it is if you want to put on tire shine after you clean your car and you don't want to wait for tires to dry, because I feel like they take forever, you can blow off the water from your tires um, and they will be dry uh, pretty quickly. Fix. You can put on your tire sealant or shine uh, pretty soon after you dry your car. Ta-da! <laughs> now, do all the rest. Man, if you have a 3IS and you wash your own car, you already know about this, but this dang trunk cries for hours after you wash it. No, but seriously though, it leaks so much from like up above the license plate, from your lights, from everywhere. It just drips and drips. I feel like you can never catch up with it. All right, and once the wheels are all nice and dry and clean, I use my other microfiber to clean up inside of these door jams because uh, it might not look too dirty, but once this water dries with any dust that's in here, it's, it's going to look dirty. So it's nice to uh, clean these up. And a little trick uh, to clean this very easily, just open the back door at the same time and you can easily just get the whole pillar right there all right and once she's nice and dry we're gonna make our way around to the back and oh what do we got here chemical guys heavy metal polish for them exhaust tips so this is one of my favorite polishes for exhaust tips I found that it, it it works the best for the amount of effort you have to put in. So you pretty much just put a little dab on your cloth, put it on there, rub it in, buff it out, and it does a great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these tips and uh, I'll show you before and after with these ones versus those. All right guys, so after one pass with the heavy metal polish, it went from this To this look at that there's a reflection in it now and you can't tell me that don't look better oh my gosh look at that comparison oof that titanium is glowing on this one and this one it's a little dull so with minimal effort you can get your tips looking very nice and just like that they're looking good again Man, that burnt titanium is a great look. Look at that, all oh, the sun's hitting it just right now. Damn, take care of your tips and they'll take care of you. All right, and the last but not least thing to do is put tire shine or sealant on your tires so they don't have this complete matte look. Um, and so they're protected. I recently got new tires, so I don't want them to start blooming anytime soon. That's kind of when they turn orange. So I've been staying on top of protecting them after each clean. Uh, and after experimenting a little with different ones, I've come to really like this Jay Leno's Garage uh, Tire and Trim Care. Uh, it's more like a sealant than a shine, but it does provide a very nice like satin shine to the tire. Um, this is very inexpensive. 
uh, and believe it or not, you can find it at Walmart, and I've come to really like this one. Um, also, the gummy tire sealant is a very good one, too. Uh, that one's a little bit pricier, but it's still a great one. Um, this one I was just able to find in stores, so I went with it, and I'm using this blue applicator pad so I can actually apply it to my tires since they're kind of tucked under there a little bit. But, yeah, I'll show you how to apply it. All right, so first things first, shake this up and go ahead and pop it open. And what I'm gonna do is uh, put about, I'd say put three nice little dollops like that. All right, so to apply this to the tire, what I do is kinda give it a messy streak all the way around to begin with, like this. And then from here is when I use a circular motion to work it in. Um, and make sure you get it into all the little grooves and circles help with that circular circular and just work it all the way in and around and then after you do this it should have a nice satin shine to it ta-da let's go to this one versus this one looks a lot better and do it to the rest of them. Just like that. She's looking amazing. All right, so that has been Mr. Gray 3IS washing his Gray 3IS. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, I'll leave all the product links in the description. Um, this is how I wash my car. Uh, feel free to ask any questions about it, any concerns you might have. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any suggestions for a new video. I've had a this request asked a lot by a lot of my followers on Instagram, um, asking me, hey, uh, can you show us how you wash your car? I wanna, wanna see if there's anything I can use from this video to wash mine. Um, so this is that. Um, dang, these tips cleaned up super nice. I polish these tips every half dozen or so washes so they don't usually ever look this shiny, uh, except for when I polish them, so. I'm definitely gonna have to take some pictures soon for Instagram now that they look like this. Speaking of Instagram, gray underscore through IS. I'm always on there. Let me know uh, if you have any questions, if you wanna talk, if you just wanna say hi, I'm always on there. So um, hit me up, uh, leave a comment. If you have any comments or questions, leave a like if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Uh, this is the first video of mine you're watching. Check out my older videos. I got some cool ones, some installs, some mod list stuff. Um, and I get a lot of questions about uh, the parts they have on my car. Um, you can comment and ask, go for it. I mean, I'll always respond. I'll shoot you the link, um, but feel free to check the description. I'll throw a link in the description for a lot of my commonly asked uh, mods and parts that I have. Other than that, this has been Mr. Gray 3 and I'll see you in the next one.